Good day everyone. Uh, thanks for watching this video. My name is Maya Ntwesani. I want to talk to you today about a very common phenomenon or very common situation that uh, all of us at some point in time uh, find ourselves in or we know somebody who's been in the situation and that is the debt trap. Now, as an entrepreneur, as an individual, in the process of establishing an entity and or scaling up the entity or growing or engaging in the operations, you find the, yourself or the entity being at some point in time engulfed in debt. Now, dealing in, with debt or having found yourself in the proverbial cliff of a debt. Firstly, there is really no need for anyone to, to be shameful about being in debt. Because as a matter of fact, based on anecdotal evidence, not a single person or an entrepreneur consciously drive themselves to be indebted beyond capacity to manage that debt. So how do you now deal with an environment where you're finding yourself swimming in the muddy river, a muddy ocean of debt, um, not knowing whether you're going forward or backward? So I really want to share with you some of the nuggets and some of the very simple strategies how we need to be looking at debt in a financial basket of things to do. The first thing to do really is the very old tried and trusted methodology to say have a clear picture of your debt environment. Um, put it differently, let's, let's get a clean paper and, and write down all the data that you have so that we have a comprehensive view. We have the finger on the pulse of the amount of data that we are in. You, you cannot begin to solve what you don't understand. You, you cannot address the situation that you don't understand the gravitas and the seriousness or the magnanimity of the situation. So that is the first thing. Let's take a clean page of paper, write it down, uh, and write the amounts that are linked to each and every uh, debt linked to us. Now, once you've done that, uh, contrary to popular belief amongst my colleagues in the financial environment, that you should always pay out a large amount of debt first. Now, this can be very a steep, it can be a steep mountain to climb and it can be very demotivating when you're already swimming in debt to try and begin to deal with huge amount of debt. So once you've written the list, the second thing is to prioritize your debt and instead of prioritizing your debt in a way of high to low debt, do it the other way around. Prioritize your debt from the lowest amount to the highest amount. Now, this is, in my view, a pragmatic and very doable thing to do because you start looking at having those quick wins. If you can pay off the small amounts of debt, you immediately remove them from your to-do list you immediately feel empowered and you can start seeing that list getting smaller and smaller. Now, while you're still prioritizing your debt, when you understand which ones are owing less to more, the third thing that it's very critical, in fact, is the one that drives us swimming in the amount of debt. It's looking at the cost of each debt. What interest rate is attached to each debt that we owe? 
And I want to ask you a question. When last have you gone back to your lenders and renegotiated the terms of interest rate that you've been given? Now, you need to understand that, and you know this already, that each debt that you have, the cost of that is linked to your riskiness, which is the interest rate. So from the lowest debt that you owe, look at which ones have got the highest interest rate. Because these are the ones that you want to clear off first. They are small as far as capacity, but you are charged more on them. So to avoid what you call negative leveraging, that is being charged more in terms of interest rate as opposed to interest that you're gaining from other investments that you have, renegotiate your interest rate, pay off your small debts with high interest rate. And fourthly and lastly, you also want to look at the duration of these individual debts that you need to pay. While there is no a silver bullet on whether you pay the shortest period first or you pay the longest period first, I'm inclined to say what should determine that is based on the two uh, nuggets that I mentioned before. It should be the lowest in terms of amount and it should be the one with the highest interest rate first. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening to this. I'll see you again next week and I hope you really enjoyed this conversation. Remember, being caught up in debt trap is just but a journey that each and every entrepreneur go through. It's one of the constraints that we can overcome. Thank you. Bye. My name is Maya Tresani.